Hello and welcome back guys. Okay, so we have a slight problem here. If I do click on the... Um, we are in the admins section here. If I click on my user here, it shows me the correct username, right? But if I go to customers and click on Mary, this doesn't look like Mary so much. So let's see what's going on here. Now, this is the profile page, right? And then there's a URL address on the other side, which matches the user, which is right there. So we're supposed to use that URL address. Where are we? Okay, there. That URL address to retrieve the user. So far, what it's doing, I think, is retrieving the account of the one that's logged in, which is not good. So how do we fix that? Easy peasy. So let's go to our user class here in models. Let's see how we are. We can retrieve a user. So there's get user and we can get a user account by um, using the URL. So get user is enough from the user class. Okay, so that's good enough. So how do we fix this problem real quickly? So I'm going to go to my controllers and look at the profile.php controller. Let me see what it's up to here. Mm -hmm. So, so far, what are we supplying here? We are supplying user data, user data. Okay, so what's happening now is that um, this is user data. Uh, I think we need another one called profile data. Okay, so let me just make that. I'm going to say user data, we can keep that because that's the person that's logged in. We may need that information. So let's make another one called profile data that will represent the data of the per the profile, the owner of the profile we are looking at. So I want to use the user class there. So I'm going to copy that, paste, and then I'm going to say uh, get user because that's the, the function name there. And then we're supposed to give it a URL address. Mm -hmm. called URL address. Yes, yes. There we go. Okay, so yeah, it's supposed to return an object. So if it's an object, then uh, that should be a good thing. So what I will do is copy this. Where are we adding it? So I want to add just like I'm doing this here and say profile data. Uh -huh. Is equal to profile data. But I want to move it out of here and onto down here. Because whether or not it's an object or it's a false, it doesn't matter. I still need it down there. So profile data, profile data. That should work. But the problem is we don't have this, uh, what is this URL address? Now, remember one thing that every time we have a controller name and this method that doesn't exist, this value here will be sent directly into there. So all I have to do is copy and paste here. Now, sometimes this might not always be there. Somebody might type, just type profile. So we have to set it to a no, just in case it doesn't exist. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to say if is object, blah, 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 user data, etc., etc. So profile data is equal to this, but it's very possible that URL address will not be uh, set. So if URL address, if it, it's actually set, then that's when, ooh, sorry, what have I done? That's when that will happen. Or else, what do we do? We're going to set profile data 
will be equal to user data. That way we'll use the, if it's not provided, we'll use the one for whoever is logged in. So now let's go to our view, profile view. So in each e views, eShop, and then profile.php. So let's see where this data is being used. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so that entire div is this one right here. Div and profile data, right? Right there. So I want to put an if statement here. I'm going to say if is is object right i need my php tags though if is object profile underscore data close that if it's an object, then we're good to go. We're in business. But if it's not, let's do an end if here. PHP. And if. Close that. Now let's duplicate that and put an else statement here. Just in case uh, things didn't go well. It's not an object, it's false. Then we can, um, let's do an edge three and just say, uh, sorry, that profile could not be found. Okay, in case the profile was not found. Uh -huh. So let me go back here and let's see. If I click, if I just type a number at the end or something new at the end, so you see. Sorry, that profile could not be found. But looky here, we still have our orders. Hmm? That shouldn't happen. Shouldn't it? So this whole orders thing should also be part of this if statement, I guess. So let me put the if statement at the very end. Paste yeah and then push everything internal oh well, let's push everything here outward and same thing here yeah so let's see yeah sorry that profile could not be found then let's remove that okay now the profile is found but the data is still wrong so let's go back and give it a shot orders i think i moved the wrong one i should have moved the profile one here yeah that's the one so if it's object profile data so i'm going to copy profile data everywhere where i have data user data here i'm going to replace with the profile data so where else i think that's about it it's just the name and the date we will add more information here okay so Mary will add more information like an avatar how to edit and how to delete these things mm -hmm. and then these orders do not represent this user why is that so let's go back to the profile and let's see what's going on here what orders are we getting so it says orders order get order by user so instead of using user data here let's use profile data oops yeah that should solve the problem so refresh and this user has no orders yet but uh, that error message isn't looking too healthy so let's go back here and uh, let's give it some meat Shall we? This user has no orders yet. Mm -hmm. So, copy that. Let's put an H3. Something to really uh, say this is authoritative. And then on both of these H3s, I'm going to add a style and say uh, text align center. 
So back here, let's refresh. Okay, this user has no orders yet, which is true, which is true. And then if I type an user that does not exist, what happens? Sorry, the profile could not be found. Attempt to read property URL address on a Boolean. That's profile controller on line 23. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Line 23 on a Boolean. So this guy is a Boolean. How dare you try to read from a Boolean? Hmm. Okay, so how is how did that become a Boolean? Well, it's because we didn't find if URL address or else profile is equal to user data. Hmm. User data is definitely not a Boolean. So what's going on here? Okay, so maybe the URL address exists here. Okay, so for a second here, let me see what's going on. Let me do a var dump for URL address here. So refresh. It's a string, right? So it's definitely not a null, so it went through here. Ah, okay, so that's what happened. So it went through here and didn't find what it was looking for. So we should also add a question tag here. If we don't find what we're looking for, oh, then that will be false, right? Hmm. Okay, so orders, profile data, URL address. Hmm, how do we solve this problem? Okay, so what I would do here is just to check if the orders are actually by the time we get here it's too late. So I need to check right here. Profile data. Hmm. Very interesting here. Okay, so what I will do is I will just check right here if Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let's do that. If is array profile data, then we can read from there. Okay. Then else orders is equal to false. Let's see if that sorts the problem out. Okay, I guess it does. All right, so how did that problem get solved? Well, what I did here is I'm saying, if this is an array, then let's use it to read our orders. If it is not, let's just uh, say orders is equal to false. That way we have no orders. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think uh, that solves the problem. So let's give it a, sh a try here. I'm going to remove the old one. Uh, there we go. So Mary has no orders yet. That is well known. But if I don't provide anything here. Okay, so it's still saying that profile could not be found. Why? So if this is a... Um, this is a null. Let me do a var dump here again. Uh, URL address. Let it tell me what it has there. So refresh. Oh, and it has home. Right. Hmm. Interesting. This is why we are having problems here. Okay, I see. So if there's nothing on the other side, it's not supposed to give me uh, anything here on the params, yeah? The parameters should be completely empty. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't seem like that's the case. 
So anyway, for now, uh, let me go back to my orders here. If I can find it. Okay, there we go. So for now, if I click on Mary, uh, I come to the correct result. If I go to my admins and click there, I still come to the correct result. The only time it doesn't work is when we just have profile and there's no URL at the end there. Then it just tells me, uh, depending on what you want, this could be fine. Uh, you may force, that means you have to force somebody to write a URL address of the user they want to see. It could be good for security reasons, but we'll see how we can eliminate that uh, controller being sent here if there is no item there. So we'll see if we can solve that problem in the next video.